Aquarius, beautiful souls, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we are going to pull some messages that are going to uncover any money or love blocks you may be experiencing at this time. If there is a certain amount of money or a specific person you'd like to manifest into your life, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you have not yet, check him out. He is over at 70 tarot and be sure to stick around until the end of this reading we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels now what we see here is that there is a disconnection from your higher self now before you poo poo this this is everything this is quite literally everything because if you're not connected to the guidance that flows through you that leads you to your greatest abundance then what is the point of being here on planet earth right? You tell me. So that's what we're going to focus on today. This is your affirmation for the day. Write this down in the comments below. Let spirit know that you have heard them. Abundance flows to me effortlessly. Abundance flows to me effortlessly. Abundance flows to me effortlessly. This is you. This is you. You are an effortless abundance flower, okay? It flows to you effortlessly when we allow, when we allow. And that's what we want to really encourage right now and remind you is that you always have this constant stream of abundance flowing to you readily available. But right now we see that you are feeling this lack of flow and it's probably because you're putting too much control and trying to figure it out analytically with your life. Is this it? Is this it? Is this right? Now, also another thing we want to remind you is that we cannot be conditional, right? So we want to remind you. Okay. So, well, before we dive into that, we're going to go into this message real fast because this is really important. When we focus on our experiences or our circumstances as conditional, right? So I'll be happy when, right? We're focusing on the conditions. Well, I don't have enough money. I don't, I'm don't. i not where I want to be uh, with my c career. I want a different career. I want a higher purpose, right? I don't, I'm not where I am, you know, with my romance or with my love or whatever it is, right? These things have to change and then I'll be okay. That's us focusing on the conditions instead of jumping past that and imagining the reality that actually feels good for us. Now, this is impossible to do to skip the conditions of what is unless we are connected to our higher self. You see, this is why this is the only thing that matters. Otherwise, good luck here because we're constantly going to be looking at all the lack in life and feeling like we're failing, right? And it just isn't the case. We're asking you to have fun, be at ease. Uh, move with the rhythms of life and just go with the flow. And it's only possible if we feel relaxed and at peace. And the only way that we are going to feel relaxed and at peace is if we are connected to that part of us that knows and trusts that everything is okay and everything is working out. Best case scenario for you. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. The reason things haven't shown up yet is because you're learning lessons to make those things when they show up extraordinary. And that's really the truth of it, right? So at the end of the day, this is what's going to happen. You're going to get this brilliant idea. It's going to be so electrifying. Think electrical eel spirit, okay? Anytime you get an idea. We want you to relate it to this electrical eel spirit. Is it electrifying? Is it a hell yes? Look, when I get the electrical eel spirit download, when this is the download that comes next, this is your next step. You know what it feels like? I start to cry. That's how much passion I feel. That's how electric it feels. Not like cry, like, but like cry, like I get tears in my eyes. I'm so appreciative. I'm so grateful. It's like this big thing. I want to like hug my husband, but I know I got to hold back, have some discernment. He's just going to be like, what's going on? So at the end of the day, this is what it's going to feel like. This beautiful idea. Now, when this idea comes, when this inspiring hell yes idea comes, we want to remind you that you don't have to know 50 steps ahead, right? And that's sometimes what we get tripped up on is we need to know how we're going to get there. How is it going to be possible? When, when are we going to get success? All we're saying is as you walk through the game of life and as you go through the steps, okay, here's your idea. Have fun with this. Be, be play as a matter of fact, be playful with this. Have fun with this idea, right? Have fun with this new journey, right? All right. What do I like from this? What do I not like from this? right? And just go through it and learn things along your way. That's what Wolf Spirit is all about, is walking the path and understanding and trusting that you're not going to know everything, but you're going to know it as you walk through it. You're going to experience it as you go through it. So don't fear this exciting new adventure. Be open, be excited, be eager, be playful, anticipate, but don't control, let go of control because that's when things are going to start to become really sticky. That's when things aren't going to feel fun for you, right? That's when it's not, the magic is going to go out, the flame's going to go out, and we are just not going to feel very inspired because we are in a control state, okay? So we want you to always feel in the abundant state of peace because again, abundance flows to effortlessly, but effortlessly feels like peace, right? Effortlessly is not force. That's not effortless. That's effort, right? So peace is effortless. So we want 
you to experience that. You know how you're going to get that? By having a spirit morning for yourself. And don't kid yourself. This is something you can't skip, Aquarius. So no limiting belief excuses for you, okay? Here's what you got to do. This is the exact path to take in order to reach that effortless abundance, okay? You've got to wake up in the morning at a time when the rest of the world is sleeping. This could be three, this could be four, this could be five. Maybe on a Saturday, Sunday at six, maybe it's seven, right? It's going to depend on the day. Typically, my husband and I wake up at 3 a.m. every day. Why? Why, you ask? There's a reason. Because the rest of the world around, not, maybe not the world, but the rest of our area is asleep. Meaning that the energy has not had time to stimulate Yes, yet. So we are within our own energy. So when I'm awake at 3 a.m., it's just me. I feel like I'm just alone in the world. Oh, that feeling for an empath is magical. That's when everything just shows up. That's when we can really have some fun and play because we're in our own energy. We actually can feel what we're feeling without the the influence of the rest of the world. And if we wake up at the, er, the later times when the rest of the world is awake, sometimes we feel energy of the planet and we can't quite put our finger on it. Why do I feel like this today? Why am I down today? I'm depressed today. I'm sad. I don't like this. I don't want to go, right? We feel like this and we can't, we, we just were this without consciously realizing, ah, this must be the energy of the planet right now because my natural energy is abundant and loving. So I'm like this. I feel like this for a reason, but we don't always see that unless we spend time in those early hours with just our own frequency, which is quite high at you being an earth angel, you being an empath and all. It's just, you know, unconditional love, no big deal. So it's just the highest frequency you could feel. So at the end of the day, feeling that is incredible, right? So we want you to start emphasizing this spirit morning so that you can start to bring pack back your power and start to for you to develop your psychic gifts. After all, you are psychic. You know your gifts. You have all the gifts, but it's really just one that you actually care about that are going to be enhanced. So when you want to discover your gifts, when you want to discover your psychic abilities, you have to start. Um, uh, you have to start being in, uh, practicing being in your own energy and practicing following where your inspiration guides you. And again, when we're with the rest of the world, it's hard to follow that. When we are air signs, I myself am an air sign, I'm a Libra. When we are air signs, our thoughts get the better of us. In the early morning hours, when there's not a lot of stimulation, we're able to feel our energy body. Now, another way to feel our energy body and feel good in our life is to make sure that we are cleansed and feeling pure. And that's why we recommend eating the clean foods, uh, drinking enough water, right? Getting the move in, um, prioritizing, um, you know, whole foods as opposed to processed and quick foods and, you know, quick, you know, even though it says a, a branding label, oh, it's keto, it doesn't mean it's 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 clean for us, right? We got to be wary of how we feel because toxins get stored in the body. And when we are full of toxins, we are uh, lacking communication, we are lacking focus, and our thoughts go all over the place and we don't understand why. And it's because there's toxins in the body. So if you're feeling like that, just get a cleanse going, right? There's many different cleanses you could try. Um, so whatever you're called to do. Um, but either way, the spirit morning is where you wake up at 3 a.m., uh, you do a quick meditation, 20 minutes or so, and then listen to a teacher, okay? Uh, Abraham Hicks, Neville Goddard, Dandy Panda, Sad Guru, um, you know, off the top of my head, there's so many though. Um, oh, Bashar, right? Uh, any any of those would do. But listening to someone that you feel is a teacher for you, you resonate with their energy, right? For me, it's Abraham Hicks, no surprise there. And so I would listen to a 10-minute Abraham Hicks and I will take notes in my journal. I will take notes. And that will kind of start my morning, 20-minute meditation, Abraham Hicks notes and, and, and podcast. And then I will start my own journal entry. You know, um, you know what I like, what, what, what works for me, what I've learned, you know, anything along those lines, anything to just get the kind of the juices flowing and and then I start you know focusing on 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 what what I like and that's those kinds of things and that that's that's the spirit morning right and what that will do is that will bring you in uh, uh, into a focused energy about about f your feeling state and about how you feel and that way whenever you are feeling um you will go from feeling bored says that four cups you will go from feeling bored you will go from feeling you know un you know unamused because let's be honest right when we're in the matrix without connecting to our spirits it's boring it's so boring here like material things really okay like so you get a nice car and then you drive it for a week and then what then it's over you get that nice house and you decorate it and you're living in it for two weeks and then you're like okay what's next 
then it's over, right? You get that thing and it's over. So the material world doesn't really bring us happiness, right? It, getting something, it only does it for like a minute, right? And then it's over, right? That new relationship, cool. Then you get familiar with it. And then what? The fighting starts, cool. So it's like we have all these attachments to things, but realistically, is that going to bring you happiness, right? So you may feel uninspired or pessimistic or bored about this idea at first, but when you start to incorporate that spirit work into your life, then you're going to be met with all this energy, all this vitality all of this confidence because you're going to be recharged from your batteries, right? And when you are recharged, that's when you are be, going to be guided into the new things, right? But we want you to recharge your batteries real quick here, Aquarius, um, so that you can, um, well, <laughs> so that you can notice the signs and where you're being guided because you most certainly are being guided. Now your angels are saying to you, yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. And that's the thing, right? Whenever you, whenever you see a random bird that like is like so random you're like whoa that bird like you look at it right it's probably one of your angels right it's probably one of your angels letting you know hey what were you just thinking about what were you just what were you just doing right now right maybe you have see angel numbers one 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 two 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 three 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 what were you just thinking about another good way to use the angel numbers is show appreciation uh, uh for something that you desire right i appreciate all the money that flows to me effortlessly abundance flows to me effortlessly i'm so appreciative for the guidance that i receive i'm so appreciative for my spirit leading me i'm so appreciative for the uh, awareness i have and the clarity i have right um a little bit of appreciation goes a long way with the spirit world holy moly because that the appreciation uh opens up to receiving abundance so that's another way um but at the end of the day um, it is about having that connection to who you really are and that will only come when you are in the presence of your own energy and generally that comes earlier in the morning and um and, and having that spirit routine for yourself where you connect to yourself we love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spared loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.